Hey guys, this video is about um, DHCP server, physical DHCP server, adding it to the existing environment and uh, going to be added to uh, Cisco environment. So we're going to go through a few command uh, prompts and uh, and a, f a few configuration steps on the on the packet uh, Cisco packet tracer, and uh, we'll get it going and. Uh, Let's hope you like it and please remember to not try it on a production environment. Always try this in lab or GNS3 or Cisco packet tracer or however get your own equipment etc. Do not try it on production. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, here's our environment. If you take a look at this laptop, um, it does not have a DHCP IP, so there's no IP, there's no DHCP, so we're going to go on and add a DHCP to the switch. I believe this is switch uh, 0. Uh, let's go and add it. We're going to drag a uh, device uh, server. Let's go and add this guy right there. Pull it. Pull it right there, and let's get it connected. I'm going to go on and uh, use the automatic. Okay. There we go. It has been now added. But it won't do much because it's not configured yet. Therefore, let's go on and configure this DHCP server. Uh, go to services and then go to DHCP. Let's go on. It's on fast 8.01. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's go and give it an IP address 10.21.22. Let's let's uh, let's mark this uh, to start at IP number twenty five five. This is subnet uh, mask. You probably alre already know this. This is subnet subnet mask. We turn on the service. We lift the service pool as is. We could put it whatever name we want, and we added a start IP. It's pretty basic so far, so we're doing good. Let's go on to the config tab and for um, for that interface which is FA00 FA0 let's go and type the IP address for it 22.1.255.255.255.0 anyways we will leave everything else as is so that's the new IP address for the server so close it in order for this to work, we want to make sure the switch zero is also having uh, a trunk port. So I want to make sure it's trunk. Enable config show, show. interface trunk. No, it doesn't have a trunk, so we're going to go on and change this. So we're going to create a trunk between switch zero, switch zero, and uh, switch uh, one. Anyways, let's go and create it. I'll skip this part. I'll create the trunk and then after that we'll resume again. There we go. I created the trunk port on this side and uh, gonna exit. I want to make sure uh, we write it. Show VLAN. I want to make sure those VLANs have been uh, replicated. Okay, they look good. So that means this trunk port is good now. So Let's go on and assign this port to on uh, switch switch zero. Let's go in and config T and uh, interface FA zero plus zero three. Go right there and uh, switch port. Let's go and assign the switch port. Not yet, actually. Let's go to core one. We are right now sitting on core one naming correctly okay it's core one the label says two i will update that typo bad typo okay we are sitting right now on core one we're gonna go on and uh, for this uh, for this uh, routing uh, let's say traffic directions etc to take place we need to create svi we need to create virtual interface so let's go on and create a virtual interface on core one so that way there will be some kind of routing so let's go on and create um, interface 
VLAN, let's call it 60. And um, let's go on and uh, interface VLAN 60. Let's go on and give it an uh, IP address, uh, a helper IP address in other sense. So we're going to get uh, IP IP helper dash address 10.21.22.1. The 22.1 uh, is the IP address uh, for 10.21.22.1 is the IP address for this DHCP. So this is going to be the helper for the IP helper for this interface. So let's say, I don't think that's needed, but anyways, I'm going to go and create a VLAN, separate VLAN for the DHCP. So I'm going to call that as well VLAN 60, and I'm going to name it uh, DHCP, DHCP, that's it, that's fine. DHCP is good enough for me, it works, okay. We are pretty much done. Remember, we created a virtual interface right here. Okay, switch interface. Okay, now uh, let's go to this guy and see if we have any IP yet. Okay, there we go. We got an IP address for this guy, and we will add. Um, we will add another device, and want to make sure that that new device gets an IP address as well. So, <coughs> I was going to add one more device and it should get an IP address as well and uh, then we're going to check the rest. Uh, we're done pretty much here with adding the physical server which will give IP address to the clients. Remember we configured on the core side. If you want to watch please stick around. Let's go and troubleshoot. Why don't we get an IP address on Core 2 because it's not been configured. I promise. If you take a look right here, we're not going to get any IP right here. That is because uh, this side has not been configured. So let's see if we are getting any luck. Oops, yes, we did. And maybe I have already configured this. Yep. Has been already configured. I was hoping for a troubleshooting tip, but looks like we are good to go. All right, um, taking a look at the VLAN, I want to make sure that VLAN has been show VLAN. Looking there, the VLAN 60 has been copied automatically over the ether channel, so we are all set. We are good to go. So let's take a look at our new host and. Uh, and see if this guy got an IP or would it get an IP? It must. Taking a look, there we go. It got an IP address. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. And please subscribe. And I promise I'll get you more videos. And please do comment. If there is anything you would like to suggest, please. I'm open for suggestion. Have a good day. Thanks a lot. Take care.